got your message. Is everything okay? Has Gus done something wrong? Gus is fine. We both are. Is Bex do we want to talk about? He won't like me being here without him knowing. I probably Please. shouldn't. Just a couple of minutes. We need your help. I'll make us a cuppa. Okay, but just a couple of minutes. Well, the thing is, uh, I'm who I am. Bex would have clued you in there, I reckon. Anyway, I promise you that I'll try and fix things with him. That's what you want to. Yeah, well, for all, all of us to get along like a normal family. I don't see what I can do. Well, it's obvious Bex is stuck on you. And we were thinking maybe you can just guide him a bit. Are you going to do what he says? Commit another crime and go back to jail? No, nah, but I, I know that's what he wants. Me out of the picture. No, he doesn't. Not deep down. Give us a sec, will you, love? Yeah. I'm not stupid, Claire. I understand how Baxter feels and why. Gus is easily led. Always wants to buy his shout and throw a bit of cash around to show he's the man. He can never stick to a proper job. Sounds hopeless. Not as a dad. He loves Baxter to bits. He always has. He wants to hang out with him, get to know the man he's turning into. He wants to show him how proud he is of him. And Baxter needs all that, but he won't let himself have it. Breaks my heart. And mine. If he was my dad. So you understand. Now will you do something for me? Like what? Like talk to him. Just get him to see that his dad can do this. He can change. Claudia's loaded and she dotes on Mackie. You'll get your money. When? But it might not be today. I didn't think so. Okay, the books show that 900 bucks came in last night. Lee May's not going to check the accounting until the end of the month, so I need to sort this within a week. Well, that's great. Mrs. Bon aside, I've got my own plans for Mackie. Yeah, the car will be there around lunchtime, but it'll more than cover what I owe. Yeah, yeah, I'm alibied. All right. You guys talking about me? You better us than the cops. I'll handle this, TK. Thank you. You know, I don't know how you can show your face here after last night. Look, I needed that cash. You know, I never, ever would have hurt you, babe. Kingy. I've been onto the bank and I've upped the loan to 50k. I'm buying you out. Minus costs and the 900 that you owe Coltrane. Suits me, Dale. So you'll get the cash for me today, yeah? No. Nope. End of the week. Uh, can you make it any sooner? No. Now get out of here. Actually, I uh, quite fancy a beer. <sighs> I don't want any trouble. But if he so much as pinches a bar coaster? Um, the asthmatic and two is settling down and the MI case in recess is ready for CCU. Oh, booty him upstairs. We may even have time to see one of the boys in cuffs. Hmm. Why not? Excuse me, are we going to be much longer? You mind if I can help it? No. We have to see the most urgent cases first. Both okay, of you guys. coming. Sorry, mate. Any problems with the prison so far? No, they're fine. Stay up then. The guards are too happy about it. What are you doing here? I know you told me to stay away, but I couldn't. <laughs> no, Claire, you promised. Doesn't that mean anything? Your mum called me and I thought something was wrong. Turns out she just wants me to help you work things out with your dad. But there's nothing to work out. He'll never change. And not if you don't give him the chance. You should try having no parents, Baxter. You might not be so bloody minded. He has sucked you in and you can't see it. This is a big mistake. You don't know that. And since when are you the one who gets to decide when a man is beyond redemption? Thought that call came from someone higher up. Did some wedding. What we found? We planted it last time your dad was home. I reckon it's time to make it a permanent feature. I'll um, give you a hand with that if you like. I love you.
Um, Craig, are we okay to go for lunch? Or do you want us to wait? No, no, things are quietened down. You guys take a break. We'll get to those guys in a minute. Okay. Do you want me to get you anything? No, I'm good, thanks. Is there a reason not one prisoner has been seen this morning? A year? About 20 reasons. All patients' triage is more acute. Well, it seems pretty quiet now. Where have Alice and Sarah gone? To lunch. When those men have been waiting for hours? We have been flat out. My staff need a break and some food. Oh, I get it. You're doing this deliberately to try and prove... Julia, I'm busy, OK? I need to write this up and then I will see to those guys. If, and only if, no acute patients arrive in the meantime. So if you don't mind... about the new anaesthetic machine. There's been a delivery hold-up. It could be months. Oh, you're joking. You're the only perk in the deal. It's a pretty raw deal by all accounts. Mm. Hey, Craig. You're taking a break yourself now? Isn't there anyone working in there? We're flat out yet again. Even I'm allowed a toilet stop. Anything to avoid treating the prisoners. What? I wish you'd act professionally, Craig. I've got guards complaining. I have got the DHB asking where the prison governor's going on about slack service. and I've Oh, just... slack. Unprofessional? Anything else? I just want you to know what I'm copying. You're a bureaucrat. That's your job. Mine is to decide which patient is a priority. Uh, so you keep saying, but I get the feeling there's more to it. I think that this is about you and me, and more to the point, I think it's about Buddy. You think what you like? Don't walk away. We need to talk. When there's prisoners to see? That would be slack. Oh, hokey pokey ice cream. I don't know about cleanliness, I'm definitely closer to God when I'm eating one of these. Thanks for shouting us. On the allowance now, I can afford a few treats. Hey, nice wheels. Oh, yeah, I always wanted one like this. It's old. What is it with guys in old cars anyway? We never forget the thrill of that first drive. Suddenly you got power, you can herb about. Independent. Ladies checking you out. <laughs> you wish. Oh, man. Didn't we used to have one like this when I was little? Yeah, same model. You know what? I'm gonna give you something special for your birthday. My gift to you. Hop in. You moron. Oh, come on, Baxter, it's a surprise. No, I told you you'd do this. Oh, wait, Baxter! No, come back! Oh, stop him, clear quick! Stop apologising. It's not your fault the car was pinched. Yeah, but the police say I might have left it unlocked. Yeah, but you're certain you didn't, oh, so... beautiful car. Yeah. Um, it is insured, right? <laughs> to the hilt. Yeah, and there's still a chance they might find it, eh? Unlikely. Professional job, the cop reckon, probably stolen to water. Uh, you fix my car and I lose yours. I feel awful. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. No, no, I'm paying. I just had a thought. Getting to the batch. Yeah, that is a problem. Not tonight, it's not. You can sleep on the couch at mine. Claire will just have to live with it. It's my car. I brought off a guy in prison, I swear. But you broke into it. I mean, why would you do that? I was just having a laugh, just why he backs up, you know? What sort of practical joke that's guaranteed to mess with his mind? Basically, yeah. Oh, man, he's right. I'm a moron. Gus. I just wanted to give him something special. Show him what he means to me. Okay, well, let's use it to go find him. On you, Claire. Just no more jokes, okay? 